myself karada majit naran rao assistant professor vijayanagar college hosapete now in this session we shall understand an expression for a rod clamped at its center of the rod consider a rod ab of length l and p is at a distance x from the point a and b is at a distance x dash from the point p and this rod is clamped at its center o when it is clamped at the center o then consider a plane longitudinal wave traveling along a rod ab of length l fixed at its center o with the end a taken as origin of x axis the displacement at the point p for the stationary wave is given by that is nothing but the resultant displacement of the stationary wave is given by y is equal to 2a sin 2 pi by lambda into vt minus l into cos 2 pi by lambda into l minus x let us call this as first expression which represents a stationary wave which we have derived now this equation is to investigate the position of the nodes and anti nodes and also the position of the frequencies of the overtones emitted by the rod vibrating longitudinally in different situations now what are overtones overtones are higher orders of fundamental frequencies then what is a fundamental frequency fundamental frequency is the minimum frequency required to form a stationary wave is called fundamental frequency let us consider a stretched string when the complete string which when vibrates a single loop then it is called fundamental frequency or first harmonic suppose if the complete string vibrates as two loops then it is called second harmonic or first overtone suppose if the complete string which when vibrates as three loops then it is called third harmonic or second overtone this overtone is such that it is always one less than harmonic if it is third harmonic second overtone for second harmonic it is first overtone and so on therefore these harmonics of the integral multiples of fundamental frequencies for a closed string and is given by n1 is to n2 n3 or in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 etc whereas for a rod these are the, st the stationary waves that is being formed where anti nodes are formed at the ends and a node is formed in between and is called fundamental frequency or first harmonic and if that is vibrates as two loops then it is called second harmonic or first overtone this is one complete loop this is another loop one node that is having in between two anti nodes is one loop similarly here one node between two anti node is one loop there are two loops therefore it is called second harmonic or first overtone and so on in this case the ends of the rod are perfectly free to vibrate so that anti nodes are formed and also node is formed at the center of the rod as it is clamped at its end. hence the displacement is maximum at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to l and the displacement is minimum at a distance x is equal to l by 2 hence a node is always formed at its center and for this we use the boundary conditions the boundary conditions is given by dy by dx at x is equal to 0 is 0 and dy by dx at x is equal to l is 0 and the value of y at x is equal to l by 2 is 0 we use this condition to identify now when y is 0 at x is equal to l by 2 then the equation of the stationary wave is given by y is equal to 2a sin 
2 pi by lambda into vt minus l into cos 2 pi by lambda into l minus x. x is l by 2 here. So, l minus l by 2, 1 minus half is half. Similarly, l minus l by 2 is l by 2. Therefore, it is equal to 2a sin 2 pi by lambda into vt minus l into cos 2 pi by lambda into l by 2. Now, on simplification, we get y is equal to 2a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus l into cos pi l by lambda as 2 cancels here. Let us call this as second expression. Now, the displacement y is 0 only when cos pi l by lambda is 0. Cos pi l by lambda is 0 only when pi l by lambda is equal to 2 or minus 1 into pi by 2. Now, on simplification, we get this value of lambda. Lambda is given by 2 pi l. If I transfer this here, it becomes 2 or minus 1 into pi. And this value of pi cancels. We get lambda is equal to 2l by 2 or minus 1. But lambda is equal to v by n. We know that V is equal to F lambda. F is frequency that is given by N. V is equal to N lambda or lambda is equal to V by N. Now on replacing lambda is equal to V by N here. This is lambda that is given by V by N. That is equal to 2L by 2R minus 1. Or N is equal to 2R minus 1 by 2L into V. Where V is given by square root of gamma by rho. Therefore, the expression for the frequency is nr that is equal to 2r minus 1 by 2l into square root of gamma by rho where r is equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. Suppose if r is equal to 1 then n1 is equal to 1 by 2l into square root of gamma by rho. When r is equal to 2, n2 is equal to this is given by 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 by 2L into square root of gamma by rho. Similarly, when R is equal to 3, N3 is equal to 5 by 2L into square root of gamma by rho and so on. In other words, N1, N2, N3 are in the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 5 etc. Therefore, the overtones of the rod fixed at the center and vibrating at the ends of the rod are odd multiples of fundamental frequencies. They are odd multiples of fundamental frequencies. Thank you.